On this episode of China Uncensored, these photos of the massive flooding in central China are remarkable, almost as remarkable as the level of corruption that made this a mostly man-made disaster. Wuhan, the most populous city in central China, once known as the City of a Hundred Lakes. Unfortunately, right now, it looks like one giant lake. That's thanks to some of the worst flooding in China in over a decade. The worst part is, the government is largely to blame for making it much worse than just a normal natural disaster. To give you an idea of how bad it is, here are seven photos of the devastation as I explain why this was a partly preventable disaster. Number one. According to official statistics from the Chinese government, which are always so trustworthy, more than 180 people have died in the devastating floods affecting central and south China. And a super typhoon is on the way. Number two. Don't worry though, top Chinese officials rushed to the scene. Hmm, good question. But perhaps the better question is, where were top officials while corruption and overbuilding primed Wuhan for this disaster? Number three. You know how I said Wuhan was known as the city of a hundred lakes? Well, most of those lakes were filled in to make room for construction. Only about 40 were left. Number four. The city had been so built up, there was nowhere for the water to go. I don't think this was supposed to be a giant water polo stadium. Number five. But it wouldn't have been so bad if, for instance, proper drainage systems had been put in place. Number six. Also, in 2013, the Wuhan government said a nearly $2 billion three-year project would eliminate flooding by 2016. You can see how that turned out. Why? Corruption. Massive, massive corruption. According to this report, the local official in charge of a hundred-plus million dollar dike construction project was caught taking $240,000 in bribes. Two other officials were also charged. Number seven. And one of the dikes that should have been fixed in that project just was breached during the flooding. And this is far from the first time corruption has cost people lives in China. An estimated nearly 70,000 people died in the 2008 Sichuan earthquake. Many were children who were crushed when their schools collapsed. Local officials had been embezzling construction funds for the schools on a massive scale, and they used cheaper, lower quality building materials instead. It became known as tofu construction. And back in 1998, massive flooding killed 4,000 people. The premier at the time, Zhu Rongji, visited the site of a major dike in Jiangxi province that was breached because it wasn't built properly. Zhu was reported as having said to the local officials, how can you be corrupt to such a degree? As you can see in this BBC drone footage, the devastation in Wuhan is severe. But the people of Wuhan are getting by despite the failures of their government. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Why not leave a word of support in the comment section below to the people in China suffering from these floods? Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time. Big news coming out recently, and it's upset a lot of people. Great Britain is breaking apart from the European Union. No, it's more upsetting than that. Yes, China is killing millions of innocent meditators for their organs, which is what a lot of people might call genocide. We are so close to war, or not close at all. Between aggressive threats and calls for peace, it seems Chinese media can't make up their mind.